everybody, here I am again. And because winter is coming, I'm going to share with you another Mexican comfort food recipe. So let's see, what do we need for this amazing, delicious recipe? Almost one liter of bean broth, a cup and a half of bio beans previously cooked, onion, white onion, according to your taste, two tablespoons of chopped garlic or the equivalent to two garlic cloves, chipotles, tomato paste, Mexican crema or sour cream, and also cheese, any kind of cheese that can be melted, but do not use the Mexican mix, no, that yellow strange cheese is not for Mexican food, please, please, I beg you, don't do that. And the star of the night, or the star of the day, or whatever time is when you are looking at this amazing video, fideos gruesos, or what is the same like thick vermicelli, according to the Italian, this, one packet. What we are going to prepare today, my dear and amazing friends, is Fideo seco en caldo de frijol. So let's do it. First, we are going to toast our vermicelli on a pan without oil. Keep moving so it gets nice and toasty with no oil. Now that we have it gold and beautiful, we turn our stove off and we let it rest for a couple of minutes while we work with the rest of the ingredients. Perfect! So, we are going to blend all the other ingredients, most of them. So, we are going to put the equivalent to two garlic cloves in our blender, the onion, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one, two, to give some color, one chipotle pepper, but of course if you like it spicy you can put more, that is according to your taste, the liter of bean broth, if you don't know how to prepare beans, check the video right here of my enfrijoladas and you are going to learn how to prepare beans. Those are black beans, but that is the way to prepare any kind of color of beans, like bayos, pintos, red beans, black beans. I prepare them all exactly the same way if I'm using for things like this. So check that recipe. Blend it. Excellent. Next step. We are just going to put the broad in a pot, so let it boil, mix it, and we're going to put some chicken bouillon to give some flavor. Let's put a tablespoon of chicken bouillon, or a chicken broth powder, as I like to call it. Now, when you see that your bean broth is boiling, you are going to put the fideos or the vermicelli inside. Let it simmer for a while in low temperature. Now, when you see that the bread is almost dry, you are going to add the cup and a half of beans. And let it simmer a little longer. Look at the consistency. It's like this. Dry, but it's still juicy. This is what we are looking for. Okay. Let's put some of our delicious fideos. This is so perfect. There you go. A little more. Why not? Then we are going to add some Mexican crema or sour cream. Some of these mozzarella cheese. 
And voila! Look at our fideo seco en caldo de frijol. It's spectacular! Let's taste it! And here it is! Our spectacular, wonderful, fideolicious, frijolicious, and yummylicious fideo seco en caldo de frijol. You want to taste? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is amazing. I love chipotle with beans. It's the best combination ever. And the cheese and the cream. Mmm. This is what we call Mexican comfort food. It's food that you will never find in a restaurant. Unless you go to a fonda, which are these tiny little restaurants like diners. But the difference with a diner is that they have like only a few dishes and every day they change. And normally what they prepare is homemade food. So it's like eating at home every day something different for a very cheap price. This is more like a Mexican Fonda Comfort food. Mmm. Mmm. this is all for today again thank you for watching I hope you like this video if that's the case give me a like in my YouTube channel click the red button that says subscribe so you can get all my recipes and now remember Christmas is almost here and I'm going to share with you a whole bunch of Mexican Christmas recipes so enjoy my friends taste this recipe if you like it send me a picture my name is Victoria and I send you a kiss from the biggest part of my heart Thank you. Adios. Buen provecho.